in moderation. Don't go, you know, down in a whole bottle of red wine like, <laughs> like, like you about to go turn up or something, you know what I'm saying? And you, what don't kill you, empower you. Just don't let it devour you. What's within is so powerful. Let the power empower you. I said, what don't kill you, empower you. Just don't let it devour you. What's within is so powerful. Let the power empower you. Uh. What's going on, people? Y'all already know who this is. This is Black Superman. And this is the next video in my series talking about, you know, basically how to kill estrogen, how to raise them testosterone levels, and how to get rid of estrogen. Um, and like I always say, man, if you want to prevent anything ha from happening, you have to go to the source and you got to kill the source, man. It's that simple. And uh, basically, this video is on foods to kill aromatase. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what aromatase is, aromatase is basically the thing that sits in your fat, man. I'm just going to say that. The more fat that you have, whether it's chest fat, whether it's stomach fat, whether it's butt fat, whatever kind of fat you got, it's definitely coming from the aromatase. I mean, I'm sorry. It's definitely filled with aromatase. Now, the more estrogen you have, the more aromatase you have. The more aromatase you have, the more estrogen you have. So when your body's trying to develop and build testosterone, more than likely the DHT testosterone, which is dehyd dehydrotestosterone, that aromatose is gonna come in and say, oh, you thought you was gonna convert that into testosterone? No, 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 we're, we're converting this into estrogen because we're aromatase and that's what we want. We want this person to walk around like a she-man, you know what I'm saying? A straight female, you know what I'm saying? You're walking around like a straight man-woman because of the aromatase that's in your body. So look, we're against aromatase. We're gonna kill aromatase because aromatase isn't for us and it does, it's not for our good. Quick things real quick on the signs of high estrogen levels and high aromatase in your body. For one, high body fat. Two, uh, you're very emotional. Uh, you know, crying all the time, you know, uh, moody. You know what I'm saying? You have, unless you, now unless you have mental issues or personality disorder, that's a little different with the moods. But if for the most part you're actually mentally okay, and most of the time, the reason why a lot of people have mental issues is not because of their, uh, it's not that they have brain issues or, or brain disorders. It's because of their imbalanced hormones. When you have imbalanced hormones, you're going to cause yourself to go through a lot of different changes. It's going to mess up your metabolism. It's going to mess up your nervous system. It's going to mess up a lot of things, and that will cause you to have mental issues. So the key is to raise the testosterone level. It boosts mood. It boosts libido. It boosts all types of things, man. And I'm not going to go all in on this video, but for the most part, You can tell by your mood if you're very emotional, if you're very sensitive, you know, if you're being very soft, uh, that's definitely a good sign. But this video is basically about killing aromatase. So we're gonna kill aromatase, that's off rip. Now, here goes some of the foods that's definitely gonna help you kill aromatase. Citrus fruit, definitely eat citrus fruit. And you know, that can be anything from, you know, uh, oranges, nectarines, lemons, uh, stay away from grapefruit. I just don't like the name of it. <laughs> you know, anything, citrus fruits, man. You know what I'm saying? Go in on the citrus fruits because it's high in vitamin C and also um, it, it, it detoxifies your body. It helps your liver. It gets your liver ready to detoxify of all that crap that's in your body. So definitely eat more citrus fruits. Also, red grapes. Uh, the actual skin of the red grapes is what uh, inhibits aromatase. You know what I'm saying? So definitely red grapes. Red wine. Now see, I turned away from alcohol for a minute because you know, I kind of, I have a past of abusing it. Um, you know, I was, I was somewhat of an alcoholic, so I kind of turned away from alcohol, but eventually when I feel comfortable again, I might actually go back into drinking red wine because it's good for you. And it's also good for your testosterone. In moderation, don't go, you know, down in a whole bottle of red wine like, <laughs> <laughs> like like you about to go turn up or something, you know what I'm saying? And you don't do all that, man. Chill out. Get you a cup, you know, maybe about four to six ounces of red wine a day. You'll be good, man. It's good for you. Good for your heart. Good for your testosterone levels. But it's really from the uh, skin of the red grapes that inhibits the aromatase. Uh, also, uh, nuts, especially especially walnuts. It has some. It has something in it called selenium. And that is very good for uh, getting rid of that aromatase, man. Um, you know, eating nuts, 
you know, that doesn't sound right, pause, but you know, eating nuts, that's definitely gonna help you uh, kill the aroma taste that's in your body, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing too, cabbage. Cabbage, man, is definitely a good food for that. You know, a lot of people don't like cabbage, some people do. And, and I wanna say this real quick, man, eat the foods that you like. You know what I'm saying? You can go Google and check out all the uh, top foods with sel selenium in it, all the top foods with, you know, just different artifacts that's gonna help you kill the aromatase. Uh, also, and that, that goes to my next food. Google all the top foods that have zinc in them because the next food to kill aromatase will be oysters. Oysters. Oysters, oysters, oysters. Now I know y'all done heard this and that and the third about oysters. I know y'all heard about how, you know, it's, it's good for the sex drive. It's good for all these different things. Well, it's true. It's good for your sex drive, but the main thing it does is murders that aromatase. So you want to eat any and everything that kills aromatase. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I know you're like, wow, what's going on, man? I was watching this one guy. I can't think of his name right off, but he's a very, very uh, knowledgeable guy. And he was doing some research. And, you know, it encouraged me to do some research and share with you guys, too. Uh, and he was basically talking about how we should study um, cancer and how to remove cancer from, from the human being. And he said the reason why we should really focus on that is because their main thing is getting estrogen out of the cells. So, you know, that's basically how, how you can, what, what lets you know what encourages aroma, I mean, encourages estrogen in your body because, in the nucleus, because um, aromatase. Aromatase is one of the main things that cancer, uh, people that work on cancer patients focus on getting rid of because they understand if they can bring down that hormone, they can capture that cell and destroy it. So, you know. That's basically why I'm focusing on this. And aromatase, man, you guys got to stay on uh, guard with aromatase. You got to be at war with aromatase. Uh, but the main thing, like I said before, the main reason why you got high estrogen levels and man boobs and fat in your butt and, you know, in your mid stomach section is because of estrogen levels and that fat that's all in those areas is just holding the aromatase, man. So you could be going in in the gym, man, put, lifting heavy weight and squatting like, you know, yeah, I'm about to do this right here, you know. Yeah. And you're not losing the fat. You're not raising your testosterone. You're not doing these things that you would like to do because the aromatase is still there. So one of the number one things you got to understand is losing fat. That is the key to hiring your testosterone level. And the more and more you... Um, eradicate estrogen, well not eradicate it, I'm sorry, eradicate aromatase, the more and more you lower your estrogen levels, the more and more you'll be able to rise your testosterone level, levels, which in turn will help you lose your body fat and speed in your metabolism, man. So y'all wanna raise your testosterone? This was the video on how to kill one of the main keys that's keeping your estrogen in you and keeping it high. So look, man, Stay tuned for, to the next video for the series. It's coming at you sooner than you can think, man. Uh, stay tuned. It's Black Superman. Let's get right. Let's kill. Let's kill every ounce. Not every ounce. We need a little bit of it.